Hi everyone, welcome to KTU Web. We are continuing with the design process of riveted joint. In previous video, we already discussed how to find efficiency of joint. From this video onwards, we are jumping into design process of riveted joint. Okay, maybe you are pretty much interested on how to design riveted joint. Before that, there is certain prerequisite before designing any riveted joint. So this video will be a kind of a door for every designers before starting with the design process of rivet. So before designing, you should ask three things and that will determine how you can move further upon design. I can put uh, these three questions like number one, number of rivet with a single shear. And I am going to denote this as N1. The second thing is number of rivet with a double shear. I'm going to denote it as N2. And the third thing is total number of rivet per pitch. We can denote it as simply N. Okay, let us discuss a single shear and double shear. Suppose you are applying a shear force just like this. This lab joint will shear into two pieces. That means these rivet will shear off into two. And here you could find a shear surface. And here also you will find another shear. If you take any single rivet, you could see the shearing occurs on a single plane because it connects two plates. And same is applicable with the neighboring rivet. Anyway, if you take a rivet, the shearing occurs simply upon a single plane. And these kind of shearing, what we called rivet with single shear. If you examine this particular kind of lab joint, you could identify here both the rivet are in single shear. In any lab joint, you will find rivet with single shear and there will be no rivet with double shear. If you confused about what is double shear, you will get a clear cut idea when we discuss upon butt joints. Okay, let us in this case, we have N1 equal to 2, that is rivet with a single shear and N2 equal to 0. There is no rivet with double shear. And now, what is the total number of rivet per pitch? Okay, that is a kind of easy thing to calculate, but you have to look at keenly on these diagrams. So we need to find how many number of rivets are there per pitch. When it is asking per pitch, you have to look after the pitch. Pitch is the distance between two consecutive points within the row of rivet. Here we have two rows. That is why it is double riveted. And if you take the distance between two rows, you can have these two line. I can draw that here, one line over here and other line over here. So these are two pitch line and the distance between these two pitch line, what we call the pitch. This half is within the pitch and the couple half is also within the pitch. And now we have half plus half one rivet here. And similarly, you could have another half here and the couple half opposite to that here and half plus half, we have rivet number two here. So the total number of rivets per pitch N is equal to two here or otherwise you can easily get it like n is equal to n1 plus n2 and this is always with chat in any kind of rivets this is a simple way you can identify total number of rivets upon a lab join okay let us discuss on a different kind of riveted join what we call the double riveted zigzag join if you can identify number of rivets in these kind of varieties you can easily solve any kind of problems. Okay, let us discuss about double riveted zigzag lab join. Why it is uh, double riveted? You could find two rows of rivet within this main plate. That is why it is double riveted. And hope you remember this term zigzag. That is because of this zigzag staggered arrangement. And in case of staggered, there will be another kind of pitch, what we call diagonal pitch. And it is out of our interest when you calculate 
per pitch a rivet count okay let us find total number of rivet per pitch here we denote it as n when you want to find rivet per pitch you have to construct these two pitch line one pitch line here another pitch line here the distance between these two pitch lines what we call p i'm already marked that here p if you want to count we can count in between the pitches so if you count in between the pitches we have an half here and another half opposite that means we have half plus half one rivet here and uh, when you compare with the previous case we have an entire full rivet is locating in between pitch point so we have another rivet here that means the total number of rivet per pitch is equal to 2 and similarly if you want to count number of rivet with a single shear since it is a lap join you can easily identify when you apply a shear force both the rivet will split into two with a single shear plane so that means we have single shear rivet n1 equal to 2 and double shear rivet n2 equal to 0 when you can also write n is equal to n1 plus n2 so this is the thing that you should remember and why we are calculating number of rivet per pitch because it is the fundamental unit of rivet when you get the strength of that fundamental unit you can easily find the capacity of that riveted joint that is what we are practicing right here okay let us go for another kind of rivet okay let us discuss uh, this guy double riveted double cover butt joint hope you remember the naming technique that we use double riveted means if you take any main plate there will be two rows of rivet most of the time people are confused with the uh, why it is double riveted even though we are finding one two three four rows here and Please be noted that you should not take a total number of rows. You have to take the master plate alone. We have a plate here, another plate here. And uh, since it is a butt join, we have overlapped that with another plate. So this is what the master plate two. This is what the master plate one. So you, you have to take number of rows in any of these plate. If you take master plate one, it has one, two, two rows of rivet. That is what double riveted. So the term double riveted comes from the two rows per master plate. And double cover is the term is due to number of two covers. If you take this is cover one and on the bottom we have another cover it is cover two that is why it is named as a double cover and hope you remember what is butt join when we keep a two plate side by side and an extra cover above and below that is what we call butt join i am advising you to check my previous video regarding the detail of this join okay let us discuss the total number of rivet per pitch that we can easily find by plotting a pitch line here we have a pitch line over here and over here if you take the pitch that is the distance between that pitch line we have this situation we have an half here another half here that means half plus half one rivet and a remaining we have one half here another half here one plus one we have rivet number two that means the total number of rivets here is equal to two and now the tricky things comes in butt joints and lap join we have only single shear situation but in case of butt join you could find a double shear situation you we can explain that like this suppose you apply a force here that is a shear force when you trying to shearing it off if you look at this location there will be a shear surface here as well as here and similarly in this rivet you could find two shearing surface it is applicable in case of butt joint with uh, two covers when you apply 
two covers above and below master plate you could have double shear situation that means when you take uh, this figure you could find both the rivets are under double shear and there is no single shear situation here okay let us number of rivet with single shear n1 equal to zero and uh, that of with uh, double shear is equal to two in previous case it was like both of them are in single shear and in case of this particular butt joint both of them are in double shear you can also write n is equal to n1 plus n2 